Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, check this out. I have an item that you're all gonna want. It's the US Coast Guard Blackhawk Rescue Helicopter. And you're all gonna hate me for showing you this because as soon as you see the video of me flying this, you're gonna want one. So now some of you are looking at this and going, hang on a sec, Steve, didn't you review a Blackhawk helicopter before? Yes, I did. And my video looks like this. So if you go find that video, I'll put a link to it below. You can see it, except this one is different because it is a similar design. It's been upgraded. It has optical flow in it. So so the helicopter remains stable indoors and outdoors. It has GPS in it and it has an FPV camera. So if you put on FPV goggles, you can fly this thing with goggles on. And it comes in this wonderful case. Let me open it up and no, it's not made out of carbon fiber, but it is a really good case. And it seems to be somewhat weatherproof because I took it out in the snow and everything stayed dry inside. Open it up, see if anything falls out. There we go. You got your helicopter, your remote, which you can't see. Hang on a second. Let me just grab this. Ugh, get that out of the way. There we go. Got this eight channel remote. You got your helicopter. You get three batteries. Well, at least mine came with three batteries. It came with the FPV camera. It came with a light that you can put on the bottom. Flight time is long on this as well. You can get nine to 12 minutes of flight time per battery. A few other things I should tell you about this helicopter before I show you the video of it flying. It has brushless motors in the center, in the rear. I believe it's a direct drive system. The cargo doors on the side, they do slide open for authenticity. You do have lights all over the helicopter, plus ones you can attach to the battery on the bottom. The landing gear does have springs in it, so it's kind of authentic when it's landing, you know, with the weight of the helicopter down on the springy little landing gear. As already mentioned, there's your optical flow right there and your GPS is built inside and it pretty much works right out of the box. You don't have to worry about a compass calibration. Let me show you the remote. This is your eight channel remote and you'll see it in the video. The display is quite visible outside in the bright sunlight, which is good. You will have to put batteries in the back to get it working. You'll see that in the unboxing. When you fly this, you have a choice. You can fly it with optical flow only. So that's just that little camera at the bottom. No GPS, that's designed for indoors, but you can do it outdoors as well. Or you can fly it with optical flow and GPS and it's very stable then. Or you can turn off the optical flow and you can turn off the GPS stabilization and uh, you can go really fast as you're gonna see in the video. Last few things to tell you really quick, the range on this, since it is a helicopter, is 350 meters. I'll put up here or someplace what it is in feet. That's because it's a helicopter and they don't want you to fly it too far. The range of the FPV unit in the bottom, it's got a very small antenna, only shoots out at 25 milliwatts. So the range for that is not super far, but it's enough to give you a lot of fun. The build and construction of the whole propulsion system, it does have metal gear servos. It's not bad, there are plastic parts, but I see an awful lot of metal parts when I look inside. You can't lose this helicopter and you can't crash this helicopter. It has returned to home. So if it goes out of range, it comes back to you. If the battery gets low, it comes back to you. It's got an auto land system that you can press if you don't know how to land the helicopter. It stays right in the air it's like a drone pretty much so that's why it's on my channel because this is captain drone channel with all about drones so it flies pretty much like a drone and it's designed for beginners 100 percent so if you have no skills in flying anything other than a camera drone like a dji one or something like that then this is perfect it's exactly the same and the final thing to tell you is that if you want to fly fpv and put the goggles on you have to have your own goggles or you go buy some if you don't have any goggles you can get some really inexpensive cheap ones because you don't need anything great for this you know cheap ones from beta FPV. I think they're like $40 or $30 or $50. I'm not really sure. Anyways, I'll put a link below to some of the FPV goggles or go on Banggood, Banggood or AliExpress. Just type in FPV goggles. You'll see all types in all the box goggles, which are the big square ones that go on your head. Those are all super inexpensive and they all work with this. Okay, enough chit chat. Let me show you the video. And just remember, I warned you, if you watch this, you're going to want one. So uh, be warned. Here we go. All right. I love that this helicopter comes in its own carry case. This makes it awesome for going to the field. Everything is in here. So this is going to be an easy flight. Everything's in here that I need. So first up, let's take our controller and power that on. Here we go. It's on. Good. Put the antennas up, stick them out. Make sure this is on lock. That's perfect. And this is on auto and I'll leave that on optical flow. This is all set to go. Let's just power it on right here. Press this in. I put the little light on it. Not that you'll see it out in the sunny weather, but here we go. See the green lights there? She's all set to go. It's gonna stabilize itself as I put it down here. Try to get this as flat as you possibly can. Take these props and put them out in all directions. It will now sit there. It will get the GPS and do all its other stuff. So I'll just let it sit there for a while. So as it's sitting there getting GPS, I'm gonna do a gyro calibration. That means take this joystick and, oh, that sun's probably in your eyes. Hang on. 
I'll just put this joystick up that way and this joystick down this way like this. Turn around, you should see it flashing. The little light on top. There we go, that's a gyro calibration. Okay, I've got the DJI Mini 3 Pro over there. I don't know if you can see me with the sun shining, but it's wrapping around. There are some trees there. Hopefully it doesn't bang into those. I know I say it every time, but I've had bad luck with DJI drones when I let them go autonomously and I have no control over them. So. This is a good morning. Nobody's out here. It's just me. So I think we're ready to go. Let's see how many satellites we have. Not that I need the GPS at the moment. It says there's only 11. So we're going to fly this in optical flow right now. That's your lock switch. Unlock it. And then you just pull these joysticks down. You can start the motors. Ready? Here we go. And you just take this joystick and move it up past halfway and it will lift. Here we go. And this is optical flow. Makes a terrible sound, but it will go up. There we go. Now it is very cold out here today, so uh, I don't know how well the batteries or how long the batteries are going to last, but that's optical flow and it, it sits in place just perfectly. Look at not touching a thing. It looks beautiful too. Coast Guard doing your thing. Where's my, where's my mini drone? Oh, it's over there. Here, I'll take it over to the mini drone. All right, going over to the mini. Nice and slow because this is not like a drone where I have brakes automatically, but there you go. There you go, Mini should see it. Whoa, I'm getting too close to the Mini. I'm under the Mini. <laughs> Come back my way. So flying this in optical flow mode is designed for flying it in your house. If you fly it outdoors like I am, you just let go of the controls. The camera on the bottom should look at the ground and hold itself in place. So you have lights in the front and also on the sides. There we go. This is a very, very safe helicopter to fly for beginners uh, because it's got so many features on it, just like a drone. It's almost like a DJI product in some respects. It's made for beginners and easy to fly right out of the box. I believe in optical flow, you only have a height, a max height of six meters. So I'll put it up there. So you see, I'm in auto mode. That's auto, it means make use of the sensors. I'm gonna put it in manual and there's manual. So now it doesn't stay still, see? It's, it's blowing with the wind. So that's manual mode. If you're a beginner, don't go into manual mode because well then, you really can't uh, control it that well. I'm gonna aim it right at me and uh, here's full blast. This is in auto mode, full blast optical flow. That is it, that is the speed. That is perfect for a beginner. Here, bring it back at me. Full blast, auto mode uh, in optical flow. That is a cool looking helicopter, I will tell you that. All right, so let's bring it back. Now, obviously you're probably wondering, what if I put it in manual mode, what will it do? Well, let's show you. Manual mode means I can go even faster. So let's go back here. Put it up and I'm gonna flick the switch to manual. And here we go, full speed, a little bit of height. There we go. Now we're, now we're boogieing, whoa! <laughs> you gotta be careful with that, manual mode, cause you'll just keep on going forever and ever and ever. You gotta turn it around and bring it back. Here we go, bring it back. And there we are. I'm gonna hit back in auto. She'll stop in place and I can bring it back to me. And if you want to land it, uh, I think it has an auto land system on here. So there's a lot of snow below me, but I'm going to see if I can put it over the landing pad and land it in auto land. So there's a button. Let me, I got to turn around again to show you. This button up here is auto land, this one here. So let me put it over the landing pad as best I can. Close enough. Hit the auto land. Here we go. Hit the button. Going down in the snow, wherever it goes. And there we go. Good thing I have no camera below or anything like that, but it will shut itself off and and then you send out the dog team to rescue all the people inside because now they're freezing to death in the snow. It didn't complain about how much power was left uh, in the battery, which I'm surprised because it is pretty cold out here. So the next thing to show you is uh, I'll use the same battery and I'll stick it on GPS mode here. So you see the solid green light? That means it has enough satellites to fly and on my controller it says it has 15, so it should be good. So once again, I've got it on lock and I'm gonna put it on unlock. And here we go up in GPS mode. GPS mode is a lot more fun. You can go super high and a lot farther. Now in GPS mode, what you do is you get it to do automatic things. So let me go over my head. See this switch over here? You have two modes. You have circle and you have heart mode. So I believe, uh, which one is which? I don't know, I can't see because one of them is red. I think down is circle. So if I hit it, it's gonna automatically do a circle. There we go, I hit it. It goes up. I don't know if my hat cam is picking it up, but it will do a circle uh, forward and backwards. And there we go. It's going around automatically. It has another one too where it does a heart shape and goes up and down. I have to be careful I don't hit my little uh, mini over there. Hey, mini. <laughs> the mini is cool. It follows me wherever I walk. So I'm walking back over to my little pad over there. Come on over this way. Helicopter. 
I'm still using the same battery. This is blowing me away because it's cold out here. These batteries should be dying. All right, back over this way, Minnie's over there, good. So now you wanna see how fast it is in GPS mode. Here we go, full blast, GPS mode. This is GPS and optical flow together. They work in conjunction with each other. So you would never turn this on if you're indoors. Never put it in GPS indoors. You'll have uh, very odd results. So there we go. That's fast as it goes in optical flow and GPS mode. And of course, same thing again. I'm just gonna put it on the other side of the sun here and I'll put it back in manual mode. It will do exactly as we saw before in manual mode. So when I go in manual, it takes it out of GPS and everything. Manual, no GPS, no nothing. There we go. It just goes like a rocket. Woohoo! I like the manual mode. This is a lot of fun to fly. And it's still got stability. So a beginner can fly this in manual mode. It's no problem. You just gotta make sure if you fly it in manual mode that when you're going in one direction, let go of the joysticks, yaw it so it's the opposite direction, then go full blast in the opposite direction or else you're just gonna keep uh, cruising in the wrong direction. So here, I'm gonna put it back in auto as it gets over me, auto. There we go. I guess the next thing to show you is the return to home. So let's take it over here. Oh, I think it's going in the return to home now. Is it? Yeah, it's making some beeping sound. So I think it's going to return to home. I'm not doing anything. We'll just see what it does. It's either gonna land right on top of me or land near the landing point, so. Coming down, I'm just gonna get the case out of the way. Where are you going? Oh, pull this case out of the way. Whoa, whoa don't follow the case. <laughs> there we go. So that's where it landed. There's the takeoff pad. And uh, there's the case it almost landed on. Uh, but there you go. So it, it brings it back pretty close to where you took off from. So that was one full battery's use. That was quite a bit. Holy cow. I'm impressed with that. Next, I'm going to put in the battery that I attached the FPV camera to right here. So after I get it in, I'll aim it down a little bit. Obviously, I can't land in the snow or I'll have snow all over the camera. That wouldn't be good. Now, when you use this battery and you attach the FPV unit to it, it's going to suck up more power because a video transmitter uses a lot of power. So let's power this on. We'll get that beautiful sound. There we go, green lights, and she'll power it herself on. There we go, let's put the props back out. Lots of satellites, 16. Make sure it's in auto mode. Make sure everything's ready to go. GPS mode, unlock motors. Come on, full power. There we go, GPS mode. God, that looks so awesome. Oh my God, this thing looks awesome. Okay, I'm gonna take you over by the, I have a GoPro camera over there. I'm gonna put you over here. There's a GoPro over there. I should be looking at it. All right, I put the fat sharks on. There we go. Now just where's my controller? I see the image. And of course I've got snow on the image. I see the mini in front of me. <laughs> so here, let's turn it. There's the sun. Let's stay away from the sun because the image looks terrible with all that water. I, sorry about all the water droplets up front. Let's go over by the GoPro. I can see the GoPro there. So I'm trying to get some shots here. I'm bringing it down to the GoPro. There we are. I can see it in my display. I'll go fly over this way coming at me, but over on the side a little bit. So when you fly this thing FPV, uh, you can have a great time. Now, obviously it's shooting out at a very low uh, milliwatt. Let's go way up. Flying up high, and I can fly around here, fly around my world. I don't have to worry about hitting the mini, so I'm just gonna go over this way. Obviously, if I lost video signal altogether, all you do is hit the return to home and you'll get it back or take your goggles off and take a look. So here, I'm trying to stay away from that sun because that sun is uh, looking awfully weird. There we go. Oh, hearing that beeping sound tells me my Mini 3 wants to land. It's out of power. So let's come back and see if I can find my Mini 3. Coming down, coming down. Mini 3, where are you? There she is. She's sitting right beside me. That's pretty sweet. See that? With FPV, I could go and find different things. That's really cool. Now the video you might see that I'm recording here is not as good as the video I see in my 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 eyeballs because the recorded Im image is very low res. I'm just gonna go over this way, visit my Jeep. And I'll go this way. Getting some breakup as I go this way because I have to turn my head. Now watch as I turn my head towards the Jeep, I get no breakup. I'm using directional, ant directional antennas on my FPV goggles here. So there we go. So as I stare to the Jeep, look at the Jeep, then, uh, you know, I don't get any breakup. I haven't figured out a way to make it 100% uh, manual where there's no sensors in operation and you can fly it like a maniac. I can't do that. So 
Anybody who buys this, there's no way you're going to break or crash it unless you purposely fly it into an object or a tree. Hey, most of my little water droplets are gone, so now you can see me a little bit better. So I'm going to see if I can land it right over on the landing pad right here, staring at me. Get close. And uh, all I do is hold down the left uh, joystick. We're going to go down. And See what I mean about the snow on the lens? <laughs> That's all you see. There we go. We're in the snow. All right. Next thing I want to show you is flying this indoors. It does fly indoors because it does have optical flow. So check this out. And the next thing to show you is what comes in this beautiful box when you buy this. Watch this. This is the hard case your F09 Coast Guard helicopter comes in. Opening the case, we can check out the contents. First item is the user manual, followed by the helicopter itself. And you will notice the helicopter comes fully assembled. In addition, it is extremely detailed. The batteries are three cell LiPos at 1350 milliamp hours. Each battery has an auxiliary port for the attachment of the FPV camera or the external light. The batteries fit into a base that you can use with a professional RC hobby charger or you can use the included beginner entry level charger that comes with the kit. The included remote has a display that can be seen outside. All of the switches are self identifiable and all detailed in the user manual. Four AA batteries are required to power the remote. The included accessories include a full set of blades and a tail prop and a set of tools. Total takeoff weight of the helicopter with battery is 434 grams. So my final thoughts on this helicopter, well, it's 100% designed for beginners. I could not get it to go into professional mode where you turn off all the sensors and everything and then fly it as if there's no sensors and have a lot of fun and do 3D and flip it upside down and all that stuff. Couldn't figure out how to do that no matter how many switches I clicked on here, I couldn't get it to do that. So what I'm assuming is that I would have to take one of my RC hobby radios and bind it to this and then use this as a real helicopter and then I could get it to do that. Haven't tried it, that's my theory. I will also say it's rather expensive for this helicopter, but it's one of a kind. And what I mean by that is there's no helicopters out there that do what this helicopter does and looks as great as this and has all the safeties on it. So perfect for a beginner. You can have an awful lot of fun flying this. Like I said, there's no way you're gonna crash this unless you purposely do something to crash it. And finally, I believe RC going, which is where the link to this helicopter is. I believe they gave me a discount code. So that discount code is below. Go check it out and you can pay less for this helicopter. Anyways, with all that said, if you have questions about this helicopter, post them below and I will get back to you with the answers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more RC helicopter videos that are really cool, I do have another one coming up in the future. Um, yeah, then uh, stay tuned. You'll see those as well as drones and RC planes and RC cars and everything I can take out in the winter time. I'm here in my cold area of Canada. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, I say bye.